Meet Gertrude and Arnold. This little piggy is a little smarter than Arnold. And no, not because it has a Neuralink chip in its brain, but because she came here by bus, unlike our red-headed fool who parked his car with the Mafia for $50 an hour. At this conference, Elon Musk will demonstrate the process of installing an advanced microchip into the brain of these cute little monkeys and in the near future into the brain of a person. Arnold, stop teasing the primates with your keys. See? Great. Well, you had it coming, buddy. I don't understand how Elon could have invited such a doofus to his conference. From a scientific point of view, Neuralink is a fairly simple device. It's a set of electrodes that transmit electrical impulses from neurons in the brain to a computer. But from a technical point of view, it's an astonishingly complex device. Imagine that the brain is a big ball of extraordinarily tangled wires, and you need to carefully connect to it without damaging anything. Arnold, run! It's time to pay for parking or a tow truck truck is going to take your car. We need to get the keys from the chimpanzees as soon as possible. Who, with parking prices like these, you're going to have to live on dollar store ramen till the end of the month. Get in the monkey suit. You'll have better luck this way, trust me. I know it smells like butt cheese, but it's only for five minutes. One more time, Arnold. You can do it. Hey, dudes, where are you taking Arnold? Only I'm allowed to experiment on him. Elon, please be gentle with Arnold. But really, who am I talking to? I'm just a voice in the head of this dumbass. Arnold's brain is almost the same size as that of a primate, and this version of the chip will suit him perfectly. Thanks to Neuralink and Wi-Fi, Arnold can now communicate with other owners of this device via the power of thought. He also benefits from a tremendous increase in the speed of interaction with the Internet. Arnold, come on, concentrate. You can do it. Download Monkey Sign Language from the Internet. I never doubted that you'd succeed, Arnold. But I didn't think you'd drag it out for a whole day. I thought you were so stupid that even the Neuralink chip couldn't help you. But you just forgot to turn it on, you moron. Hey, Dipknob, stop acting like you're king of the beasts. Have some respect, Arnold. You and the chimpanzee share ancestors. We diverged from them seven million years ago. Life lived in the forest and in open plains simultaneously helped us develop bipedalism and our upright posture. This in turn freed up our hands for tool use and other useful activities such as taming fire. Cooking food helped contribute to better and faster digestion, which together with some other things led to us developing our bigger and better brains. Yes, Arnie, I know it's hard to believe, but the march of evolution is still ongoing. For example, because we began to cook food before eating, our jaws have shrunk and wisdom teeth have already stopped growing in 20% of human beings. In addition, along with the improvement in the quality of food, the average height of Homo sapiens has increased by 10 centimeters. But then again, so has his weight. However, for modern people, it's not body changes that are so important, but technology. It allows us to move around while sitting, fly, and even get a cold beer without getting out of our comfy chairs. What'll be next? Wow, look! It looks like scientists have created a supercomputer that can predict our future. And it has a message for us. Let's listen. Over the past hundred years, the number of people on the planet has quadrupled. At the same time, humanity has destroyed 80% of all animal fauna. And environmental pollution has already led to irreversible climate change. Therefore, in the future, due to global warming, our bodies will stretch, our skin will darken, and our ears will grow out for better heat dissipation. Whoa, Arnold, you look a lot like your neighbor, Henry. But the fact is, in the last 150,000 years, Homo sapiens' brains have shrunk by 200 grams, and they're continuing to shrink. A more comfortable life leads to inactivity and degradation. Homo sapiens could lose his intelligence forever. Yeah. 
It looks like Elon Musk wants to find out if we can develop telepathic abilities in a human being. Don't worry, Arno. They'll let you go if you answer correctly. So, guess what's in the picture? Wrong! And on this one. No! Get it together, man! Such experiments were carried out in the 1950s in the USA. Their goal was to develop paranormal abilities in soldiers in order to gain an advantage in the Cold War. The test subjects were given LSD, since LSD significantly increases the activity of neural connections. Arnold, pull yourself together already. Even a rat learns faster than that. Well, true, this ain't no ordinary rat. He has a chip in his brain. Scientists proved the possibility of transmitting nerve impulses from a distance back in 2013. The rats were in different cities, but they acted together, thanks to electrodes implanted in their brains and the internet. It looks like Elon Musk is going to try all the different ways to develop telepathy on you at the same time. Arnold, stop! You haven't mastered your new skills yet, buddy. Mind reading has many benefits. Now, people can't hide anything from you. But I have to warn you, you won't like everything they think about. The pros in a relationship, you can immediately know if your partner really loves you or not. You can understand the language of animals and you can find your perfect match. But what if all people could read each other's minds? An ideal world without lies or falsehood. Or maybe not. Arnold, you could sleep through your whole life. Get up already. People sleep for one third of their lives. During sleep, the body is restoring. Some species of birds, marine mammals, and reptiles can stay awake for up to 10 days. One half of their brain is asleep while the other one is working. In order not to waste time, streamer Asian Andy slept online and earned $16,000 in one night from donations. I think someone's breaking into your house, Arnold. Wake up! Arnold, who are these guys? They don't seem anything like your friends. Congratulations, Arnie. Somehow you've gotten yourself into what looks like pretty big trouble. Again. What the jumping Jiminy is this place? Looks like a college dormitory at not the best university. Wow, Arnold. Looks like you could be a superstar in a new reality series. How on earth did they get a file on all of you guys? Whoopsie daisy, I guess they got you here by mistake. What do they want from all of you? Uh-oh, I don't like this at all. Arnold, haven't you been able to sleep? A day without sleep leads to headaches. Your hearing becomes noisy and difficult. And your memory becomes impaired. You need to sleep believe that on average, a person can endure no more than five days without sleep. That's when the real oh. test begins. No. Optical and auditory begin to The first to set a no-sleep world record was 17-year-old Randy Gardner, who stayed up for 11 days. But this was later beaten by Robert McDonald, who stayed awake for 19 days. But the representatives of the Guinness Book didn't confirm it. And conducting such kind of experiments on yourself is quite dangerous for your health. You're the only one left, Arnie old pal. I'm reminded of one legend about Soviet scientists. They put five people in a room for 15 days with a stimulant gas that kept them all awake. What a wonderful morning. Me, Ar... Hey, Arnie, where'd you go? Get ready, Arnold. A new experiment awaits you. A bathtub full of boiling hot water. Stop watching Netflix and stop texting Susie. She's not going to answer you anyway. Come on. No way. Are you finally going to meet her? Ha <laughs> ha. What a maroon. You're seriously depressed, buddy.
The World Health Organization estimates that depression affects 300 million people worldwide. That's about 4% of the global population. Depression occurs due to a deficit of neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Without these natural chemicals, favorite activities stop being pleasurable and colors turn gray. And all of this can end very tragically. So just don't do something stupid, Arnie. Arnold, you have millions of fans on YouTube. Why do you need all this? Come to me, buddy. I'll give you a big hug. Depression isn't just a change in mood. It's a real illness. To treat it, you most definitely need to consult a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Antidepressants can help you, but be careful. Some are addictive. Start going to the gym. Believe it or not, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce symptoms of depression. And change your diet. Eat more dark chocolate, seafood, nuts, and fruits. Meet with your friends. You can get a pet and take it for walks in the park. Now that everything's stabilized in your nervous system and your hormones of happiness have returned to normal levels, the world sparkles with new colors. And now that you're in better physical shape, girls have even started checking you out, buddy. Is that Susie? She's ready to meet you. Quick, answer her. And tell her you're just standing here like an ignoramus. Oh, no. Not again. You know that Googling your symptoms is a really bad idea. Oh, look. Mm. Depressed mood, lack of self-confidence, fatigue. Hmm, maybe you really do have depression. Perhaps you should make an appointment with a psychiatrist. It's really important not to self-diagnose and self-medicate. So don't... Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Wow, so many different antidepressants. Something tells me you're not interested in reading the directions either, are you, buddy? All right, so you have two packs of Prozac, 75 tablets of Celexa, five packs of Zoloft, half a jar of Lexapro, and a whole lot of sedative syrups of different varieties and colors. Not that this will necessarily cure your depression, but once you start collecting <laughs> medicines, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really concerns me is the tricyclic antidepressant. But if I know you, I know that sooner or later, you'll start using that garbage too. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what you took this time. MAO inhibitors can lead to delirium tremens, hence your hallucinations. Dizziness, tremors, seizures, all are caused by serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The euphoria and pleasure you're experiencing come from tricyclic antidepressants. By the way, did you notice that you haven't eaten in eight hours? Models sometimes take antidepressants to not feel hungry and dreams under antidepressants appear closer and more tangible so arnie was it all a dream or was it real what's up yeah looks like everything's getting weird and buggy <laughs> distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day Ooh, deja vu calm down you paranoid pinhead Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when... Woo! Woo! What a beauty! Hmm... Another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets? Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right, this definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? 
No, no, no. Don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now, too? How can you tell what's real and what isn't? All of this just for the donuts? Oh, you bastard. Well, no worries. Today you'll have a chance to do a really good deed. The whole planet is infected with diarrhea virus from China. But I made your blood the only existing vaccine. There are 7 billion people in the world, and everyone is hunting for you. 195 countries have posted your photo on all possible media. You're in all of the police databases, and not only the world's police, but all the best special forces in the world are after you. MI6, British Intelligence, which has been working around the clock for 100 years straight. ISI, Pakistan's Interdepartmental Intelligence Agency, with the largest residency in the world, 10,000 agents. The CIA, watch out Arnie, they torture people. The Canadian Intelligence Service, with a search budget of over $507 million. Do you really think you can hide from all of them? You're on every single smartphone in social media. You become more popular than Greta Thunberg. I'm sure she envies you now. After all, you can actually help save humanity. Just give them your blood, all the way down to the last drop. Elite special forces from all countries are already coming for you. U.S. Navy SEALs, the French National Gendarmerie, Chinese Snow Leopards. But of course, even a random student could catch you. Big Brother is watching you. In New York City alone, there are about 20,000 surveillance cameras. They take photos, compare the distance between the main features on your face, nose, eyes, mouth. Data is converted into a person's numeric code, a face print, and verified with the database. In addition, on the darknet, anyone can buy image databases from video cameras of cafes, hospitals, shopping centers, even near the main FBI headquarters. Meaning they can find out where you were just five minutes ago. Catch this. These glasses with built-in infrared LEDs will help you to hide your face from the cameras. For them, your face will look like a glowing blind spot. Wait a bit. You forgot the battery. This isn't enough. You need a disguise. It was a bad idea to eat this many donuts. They provoked an excessive accumulation of gases. Unleash the winds! You look good, but search dogs will find you by the smell of butyric acid, the odorous component of your sweat. It won't help that just one gram of sweat is enough for the dog to smell you on the roof of that 10-story building or at a depth of 15 feet under concrete. In the United States alone, there are nearly 7 million drones. Stop waving and take this special weapon against drones. This gun fires a wide stream of electromagnetic emissions so you don't have to aim. It's enough for the interference stream to cover the drone, and then it'll lose contact with its base and lose control. What have you done? Get lost in the crowd, bone brain! Well, you have to kiss. So, Arnie, any last wishes? <laughs> you look like crap. But it was worth it. You cheered up a lot of people. Wait, are you in a coma? Looking at you, you'd think you're dead, but you're still alive inside. In a coma, you're unable to respond to external stimuli. Because of this, you'll be the best K-pop fan. And you'll be able to listen to the same song on repeat for years.
people can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex oh. mechanisms. The degree of a coma is determined by the Glasgow Coma Scale, where 15 points is clear consciousness and three points is brain death. Arnold, they're gonna turn off the machine. Wake up, uh -uh. and I promise no more experiments on you. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, Arnie, you can do it. I never thought I'd say this, but you really had me worried. How are you feeling? Are you speaking Klingon? You became one of those who, after a coma, forgot their native language and began to speak in a completely foreign language. But the fact that you started eating dirt after a coma is something new. Are you buying a lottery ticket? Yeah, what's that smell? You can't smell that? Ooh, that sucks. The chance of being attacked by a stinky skunk is about 10 times higher than winning the grand prize in the lottery. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. A dog's sense of smell is a hundred or even a thousand times better than a human's. And a doggy nose can smell a smell at a distance of one kilometer from its source. With a dog nose, you can even determine a person's physiological and emotional state. However, it's better not to fool around with cleaning products. The smells of vinegar, ammonia, and chlorine are especially unpleasant for a dog's nose. Whoopsie daisy, Arnold, I think you better run away. Pretty cool, yeah? Dogs are macrosomes, meaning they actually live in a world of smells. For them, their sense of smell is like vision for us. So it's not that bad to have a dog's sense of smell, is it, Arnie? One milliliter of water contains 3.35 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules. A dog's sense of smell can detect among all those molecules a single chosen molecule of a substance. So with such a nose, you can always find the most delicious pizza. Or pretend to be a psychic and find people for money or even get a job as a king's bodyguard. But wait, instead, you're buying a lottery ticket again? Wait, listen, do you hear something? What a pity. I think you all know this redhead pretty well. Come on, finish your burrito and let's go to the garage. I'll show you my new device for shrinking people. Aw, you dropped your burrito. Arnold, are you seriously going to eat that? Okay, the five-second rule says you can eat dropped food if it doesn't stay on the floor longer than five seconds. But I wouldn't. Arnold, what's wrong with you? Does your tummy ache? This is the perfect chance to test my quantum resizer and find out from the inside what's hurting you. Put this helmet on and I'll connect your consciousness to your nanocopy and insert you into your own body. But first take off your underpants. It's the fastest way to get you to your destination. Here we go! You ate a burrito which contained the eggs of some very smart tapeworms. Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo. Let's check out the zoo. Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu, and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia.
Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. What happened? Did you just get fired from McDonald's? Don't worry. Every person is talented at something. For example, heard of a guy from China who got into the Guinness Book of Records because he didn't blink for 57 minutes. Hey, where did you go? Arnold! What? You broke the record? How? You glued your eyelids! Oh my god, it's really dangerous! Blinking is necessary to lubricate your eyes with moisture. Our lacrimal glands contain antibodies, lysozymes, and electrolytes. Without them, your eyes will become defenseless. So, I'm afraid you won't be able to admire your literacy for long. The smallest particles in the air will begin to settle on the eyes and scratch them. In addition, the longer you don't blink, the more you want to. Arnold, there is one secret. Blinking has another function. It shares the information you receive and renews your attention. This means that the more interesting stuff you see is, the less you want to blink. Try to distract yourself with something calming. Yes, I think a good old black and white movie will do. There are three types of tears, reflex, emotional, and basal. Because your eyes are dry, the tear glands are trying to make up for the lack of moisture. But the movie isn't bad either. Oh no! Who knew the film would have a nuclear explosion in it? Arnold, how do you feel? Bright light hurts you, your vision gets worse. These are signs of conjunctivitis. It needs to be treated properly. It sure won't go away by itself. Be careful when reading the drug instructions, Arnold. With vision of plus five, it's very difficult to read up close. But with myopia at negative five, you'll have problems with viewing objects in the distance. Ladies, stop it! He didn't see anything! Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! Looks like you got beat up by the pharmacy security and you lost all your belongings. I wouldn't stay in such unsanitary conditions for long. Don't have the strength to go. Eerie similarity to the symptoms of adenoviral conjunctivitis. This happens when the retina is torn and the virus penetrates through it. Arnold, get up! You'll develop abscesses and retinal detachment, and you can go blind forever. You see these halos of light around? Thank God, it looks like someone called the ambulance. What's wrong again? Arnold, these are not ghosts, they're doctors. Stop, you can't hide in this cornfield. After all, it's drawn. Well, Arnie, it really isn't so much of a problem to live for a very long time. Recent research promises that medicines that cure aging are just around the corner. Well, let's get ahead of the game and stop you from aging right now. Are you ready to live for a thousand years? A little injection first. So let's talk first about what you'd have to offer mankind with this thousand-year life. Nothing. Except for maybe 230 kilograms of skin, which your body continuously grows and could eventually cover one and a half football fields. And then there's all the hair you'd grow, the length of which will be equal to the height of 10 Statues of Liberty. This is perhaps about the best you could offer. But don't worry, there's another benefit. For the past 100 years, the average person's height has increased 8 centimeters, which is mostly explained by medical advances. So what if you continue growing for your whole life? By the end of the experiment, you'd be 80 meters tall. Well, now you really are a completely ridiculous creature. But no, even for you, Arnie, it's too much. Much of the complexity of longevity lies in the inability of organs to withstand the burdens of operating for more than 100 or 200 years. Your joints would eventually begin to break down under their own weight and stress. Fortunately, robotic organs will appear on the scene. There, that's better. But is it possible to replace all the various parts of a body? 
Unfortunately, no. There are limits with your brain, of course. Arnold's memory is capable of holding 2.5 petabytes of information. This is equivalent to the content of all the photos on Facebook, plus 20 million archive boxes packed full of documents. This may seem like a huge number, but eventually, in 300 years, your memory would be full. Since Arnie will become the oldest person on the planet, he'll soon be famous. But he won't be able to put two words together due to his full memory. So, your body really isn't intended for such a long life, Arnie. Do you know what the best thing you can do for humanity is? Wean them of yourself.